have you had a lot of have you had a lot of feedback, good, positive or negative since then? Uh, yeah, both. You know, just um, watched the film on Sunday and, and kind of just put that behind me. Um, I learned a lot from it. Uh, we all did. Uh, we did. We did some positives and some negatives. Um, but like I said, we put it put it behind us. Started on Mississippi State today and, and went out and had a good practice. Brandon, your teammates were saying there's a lot of different little things that are going on in offense and they're just compounding. Is, is it? You almost there, you think, or is this? Yeah, from watching film, it's the same thing that happened uh, um, last week with Kansas State. It's just you know a lot of nine, ten man football. You know, we still have we have nine, ten guys playing, doing what they're supposed to, and uh, one or two guys uh, not finishing blocks. You know, us not completing passes when it's open and, and things like that. So um, that the execution there is just we just got to finish. You feel like sometimes you're you're trying to do too much individually that may not be your temperament or, or whatever like you've been in the past. Yeah, I think just talking to Coach Borders, he thinks that, you know I'm trying to maybe force it a little too much, do a little too much, uh, put too much pressure on myself when when I just need to do uh, what I've been doing and, and um, let the guys around me uh, you know distribute the ball where I need to and, and keep us out of bad situations and um, you know just like I said just. Uh, get the ball to the guys that can make some plays. But that's what quarterbacks do, though. I mean, you guys are trying to make plays. Right. Yeah. That's and, and the thing is, you know, we we're uh, you know we're still looking for that that real big uh, breakout game where we you know find some playmakers and uh, Mario Fanning really did it. He, he stepped up, but you know he, he had a couple of fumbles which which hurt his confidence. But um, you know that will come. You know he, he showed uh, some some really good signs of, of being a playmaker. So. Um, you know, as long as he can secure the ball, he'll, he'll be a good player. Seems like Auburn's uh, running game has struggled more in the first two games than it has at any point in your career. Uh, do you think that has affected your performance in any way? Yeah, it's, you know, that's what this offense is built around, the running game. You know, we, we run first, pass second. So if you don't have a running game, you're not going to have a passing game. But, um, you know, those like we did, we established a running game. And, um, and then with the passing game, it was up and down. And then having five turnovers. You know, first game, not having a running game really hurt us. Brandon, does it shock you when Coach Tucker realized to come out and say you're his starter? I mean, is, is he even warranted you not being the starter? Um, I haven't heard anything about it. So, um, you know, I haven't watched uh, watched much Sports Center or, or uh, checked the Internet or anything like that. I just kind of stayed away from that. So, you really haven't. Haven't let it affect me. Um, you know, I don't know what's being said, but um, yeah, I am the starter. Nothing's been said about it, so you know, I'm just approaching it that way. There's talk of a shakeup among the wide receivers, with maybe working some guys into the new spots. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, you know, I think Coach Borders mentioned something about maybe playing Robert uh, Robert Dunn at uh, at Z. Um, you know, just trying to find somebody that can make some play. You know, just seeing Robert what he does. Uh, when he gets the ball in his hand, you know, he can make something happen. We've seen a couple of big punt returns for us. So we're just find, trying to find a receiver that, you know, can make some plays after the catch. Have some, uh, have some crucial drops from, from, I mean, not without calling anybody out, but, but have some crucial drops really. I mean, has that been frustrating as a quarterback when you, when you get the ball there and the guy can't come up with it? Um, yeah, the passing game, you know, it's, a lot's been on me just, you know, making bad decisions, not making – uh, throws when the guys are open, and then you know having when we did have some guys opening, I get the ball there, and then having some drops, you know, it just um, got you know gets me down, gets the receivers down. So um, you know we just need to need to have a good game where we can just hook up and, and have a good passing game. Right after the two games, do you feel like you're getting hit as much as you were last year, more less? Um, the past game, I re, you know, I, other than um, you know a couple of hits, you know, I really don't think I got hit too much. So. Uh, offensive line did a really good job. They weren't pressured near as much as Kansas State was, and and with the Kansas State game, a lot a lot of the hits were after the throw. Just you know, guys coming coming free. We just didn't have enough guys to block them. It's just uh, um, you know, when they're bringing more than you can block, you know, you, you have to expect a hit. But offensive line did a really good job pass blocking the uh, last game. How hard or how difficult is it not to get in a panic mode and not just totally scratch whatever you guys have been able to do since you started in early August? 
Um, you know, coach have done a good job of just, uh, uh, just keeping us settled down. And, and uh, you know, we know we have the playmakers. Um, we know that, that this offense works. You know, we've seen it work. And, and just from watching film, you know, we see it, it's, it's working. It's just, you know, we're, like I said, a couple guys here just missing some assignments and, and things like that. So it's, it's, uh, it's working. We just have to, to finish off the plays and, and, you know, gel together as an offense. As a leader of this offense, you know, with a lot of the young guys playing some key roles, how do you keep that leadership going in the huddle, and especially when you guys are struggling? How do you how do you step up and, and say, hey, "Here's what we got to do"? Yeah, just just gotta go out there and um, just play the game. You know, I, the young guys have really improved dramatically from from uh, you know start of fall camp to, to the first game, and then made a big jump in the second game. Um, and, and the young guy especially leads him, but he's he's fired up. He's very emotional and, and loves to be out there. And, um, you know, he's one of the guys that's, that's always getting it up out on the field. And and so it, it, there's definitely no the guys. You know, maybe after the game that they had their heads down, but um, just looking at practice today, you know, you, you wouldn't have thought we lost. We're, everybody's focused on the game that we had this week with Mississippi State, and um, you know, everybody has confidence that, that we're gonna go out there and, and have a better game. Take one more in the best. Is this a game for you guys? As a team to say, hey, we've got something to prove to ourselves that the way we have been playing, whether it be some drop balls and just that and the other thing, is this a game where you guys have something to prove? Yeah, we need we need to prove something. You know, we, we need we have something to prove to ourselves. It's it's a game. Yeah, it's a, it's a big game against Mississippi State, it's an SEC game. But you know, we just need to go out there and play our game. Um, you know, we hurt ourselves the last game and. We just need to go out there and, and not turn the ball over, you know, put together some drives, put some points up on the board, and, uh, you know, not rely on our defense winning win the games for us. You know, we have to give our defense some confidence that they can rely, rely on us to win games too.